Hello, Blaster Not here. What I'm recording today is a league match with me and an Indian Cowboy from the Nitro Squad. This match here is in the Leverick's queue. When we start off, I've got the video sped up because not much really happens with me and my Plasma Gary. Run over and grab the left beacon real quick. Then I'm running up uh, just to test out the reds and see what's on their left beacon. The guy lobs a few aphids at me. Dodge it, no problem. And uh, see if I can't get a uh, line of sight to fire on this guy. Um, some hydrogens came at me, blocked with my shield. There's some more hydras that actually caught me. I uh, gave up trying to like, pick off that guy and head towards center beacon. Cap that, no problem. Uh, squeeze off a few rounds at what looks like an Ancelot running around on the right side. Move on over to the right side to help out my buddies. Uh, they're starting to drop like flies, but what are you going to do? My squadmate Indian Cowboy is holding his own up there. And I start unloading on a missile griff. Looks like a death button. So you can see his missiles really aren't connecting with me at all. He got me a couple times, but I stay out of his range. So, moving on, I don't really want to engage that many reds all by myself, so I'm circling back over to the... There's the Ancelot again. Back over towards Center Beacon <coughs> to see if I can pick up something easier. So Ancelot's got the attention of, uh, of me, so hits me a few times with his organs. Now my teammates hit him with thunder. I come in with my plasma onto his side, on protected flank, and rip him up. So that was really no problem at all. Here comes another Ancelot from old school, who I think is a Champions Leaguer. I faced him once or twice before. I can't really get any good targets on him. And I really want to take out this uh, aphid pattern that's lobbing aphids over at my teammates. So let's come around here to the left. A little worried about stepping right into the open before I uh, see what's coming at me. Hopefully they'll squeeze up a few rounds so I see what it is. Oh, turns out there's a griff there. Plasma griff firing into my shield, not doing me any damage. And I'm taking him down pretty quickly. As you can see, this is a 12-12 Plasma Gary. And there's a, looks like there's a something coming around on my left side here. Oh, and that was Aphids, so I just got nailed with Aphids. It's a Aphid Stalker. Turned on to Stealth. I can't really do much about that. No need to waste the Terrans while he's uh, in Stealth mode. I can dodge these Aphids fine. Uh, looks like a teammate Leo just came by to help me out. And there's another, looks like Plasma Griff. So, really no problem for me to blast him. I'm not going to take any damage, pull him out for my Leo to light him up, and that worked perfectly. I've still got my eyes on this aphid stalker over on the side, just in case he tries to throw some more aphids at me, and I can dodge it if I'm moving sideways or backwards. But, I don't know. Looks like he's not wanting to engage me. And he ejected, so... No more worries there. The Reds are running out of time. They're almost out of their bar. So I'm going to try to get a little more damage before the match ends. And that is it. A nice win for the Blue Squad. So looking at the match, it looks like I got second place, plus Beacon Gold, plus three gold for being in the squad. And you can see my squad mate, Indian Cowboy, at the bottom there. Uh, he didn't have a great match, but it happens. Here's the number one player on the other team, Old School. He is a champion leader. And you can see his hangar is mostly all 12-12, except one Griff's level 6 with all 12 weapons. So it was a good match. Took down that guy. Thanks for listening.